Hey, I'm with Overtone Labs, and in this video we'll be exploring um, different ways to get different sounds out of your drum at any given fundamental pitch. So it turns out by varying the relationship between the top and bottom head, the pitch of the top and bottom head, we can get very different sounds out of our drums while staying at the same fundamental pitch. So if you'd like um, high resonance or long sustain, you can tune both heads to the same pitch. If you'd like uh, more stick attack and treble, you could tune the batter head a little bit higher than the resonant head. On the other hand, if you'd like less stick attack and more bass, you could tune the batter head lower in pitch than the resonant head. So in this video, we'll be giving you several different samples of different styles of tuning, all at the same fundamental pitch. You guys can check these out and decide for yourselves which style you like. Then you can go to tune-bot.com, go to the tuning calculator there, and it kind of does all the math for you, and it will tell you um, where the top and bottom heads need to be at in terms of pitch to reach that uh, given fundamental note. So check that out as well. Thanks. Okay, here we are at um, the tuning calculator from tune-bot.com. You see I have 10 inch checked off on the drum size because that's the size of the tom we'll be listening to. It is a Yamaha Maple Custom Absolute, if you are wondering. Uh, you can enter several drums in at once or several toms in at once and if you do that the calculator will give you a recommendation based on a musical interval it might be um, thirds or fifths um, and it just depends on how many toms you have and what size your toms are the next category is choose your resonance it's set on low resonance right now and that will cause um, the heads to be very far apart in pitch and that's what keeps the resonance down. Uh, you can also set it to uh, medium, high, or max resonance. If you set it to max resonance, the heads will always be at the very same pitch. Um, the next category is pitch transpose. I have it set to negative one semitones. Turns out the default for the 10 inch tom was D sharp and I happen to think that it sounds pretty good at a D so that's why I did that but you can also bring it up um, in pitch if you, you can do plus one plus two plus three semitones uh, whatever you like the last category is choose your tuning style we have the top head tuned lower than the bottom head obviously you can also do the opposite and set it so the top head is tuned higher than the bottom head and like I said before, if you choose max resonance, um, then this uh, last category will not um, affect the outcome because the heads will be at the same pitch. But you just click Find My Tuning uh, after you've done all the inputs, and it will give you a tuning recommendation down here. And for these inputs, it's telling us to do 195 hertz for the top head and 327 hertz for the bottom head and let's have a listen now for this next sample uh, we're still at low resonance but we're going to tune the top head higher in pitch than the bottom head so we'll hear a little bit more treble um, and get quite a different sound okay now we're gonna take it up to medium resonance and we're gonna switch the tuning style back to um, before where we had the top head tuned lower in pitch than the bottom head. Now for this next sample, we're gonna keep it at medium resonance, but we're gonna switch the heads around again and tune the top head higher than the bottom head. Okay, moving right along. Now we're going to take it up to high resonance. And you'll notice the pitches um, of the heads are getting closer and closer together 
as we bring the resonance up. Um, so for this first one, we're going to do um, top head tuned lower than the bottom head. And here you go. Okay, we're still at high resonance, but for this one, we're going to tune the top head higher in pitch than the bottom head. And last but not least, we have maximum resonance. Now we're only doing one sample at maximum resonance because we can't tune the top head higher or lower than the bottom head. They will be at the exact same pitch. So that's it for the samples. Um, hopefully you guys can listen to these and decide which setting you like the most and then you could apply that same setting to all your toms. Um, ideally you'd probably yeah, you'd like to use the same setting uh, for each one of your toms uh, so they sound good together. So if you want to tune your 10 inch in a certain way with low resonance, top head tuned lower, then you probably want to do that with all your toms. But um, it's not necessarily true. But um, also I should note that, you know, a lot of people ask, oh, how should I tune this drum set or that drum set? And I'm always hesitant to answer that because everyone disagrees on what sounds good everyone has different preferences and it also depends on whether you're playing in the studio what type of music you're playing or maybe you're playing live so you got to take all these different factors into account and there's no one perfect way but um hopefully using these tools that we've provided uh, from the tuning calculator to our tuning guide on the website to these videos you guys can use these tools and decide what you like the most so um, continue to check out um, our YouTube videos and our Facebook. We'll post more things on there. And uh, thanks for checking it out. Bye.